Hey everyone, it's Ariel, and we're back to another episode of Ariolan's Heart Rate Gaming. We're back to Idle Heroes, and it's time for the Profit Orb event. And we're also having this magic circus show um, event that's going along with it. Um, we'll get we'll get to that. <laughs> but so in the Profit Summon, you get these clown masks. Um, and you get 50 of them for a full completion. And they're also giving us a copy of Jara at 60 and Garuda at 80, which is pretty cool. Garuda's pretty freaking awesome. So this is pretty cool. And then in Heroic Miracle, they're giving us an Aspen copy, which is pretty great. I love Aspen. <laughs> I know he's dropping a little bit in uh, the Super End game, but like, He's still fantastic for me for PvE, and I still use him on my t main team for now, so I really like him. Uh, so they also have this calling of the prophet tree going on, and whenever you do 80 summons in one of the minor factions, you're going to get a 6-star dummy for that faction, or if you do light and dark and do 105 summons, you can get your choice of a light or dark um, puppet. It looks like this is just a one-time thing, which kind of sucks because, I mean, like if you're wanting to do more than one completion of the Prophet Summon event, typically you want to do them all in one faction because that's the best way to get fodder. And this looks like you only get it for one completion, so. That kind of sucks. I don't like the idea of spreading my orbs out. Yeah, I don't really care for that. Um, yeah. Profit orbs are best when you keep them all in one branch. <laughs> so, in the clown masks, you collect clown masks and you get rewards. You get a random five star, so one fodder hero. You get ten orbs, you get a skin, um, and you get an elite hero. And now, remember, you can only get 50 max for a full 80 profit orb completion. So, for one full completion, you're only going to get 10 orbs and a random 5 star hero. If you could do two completions, you'll also get a limited skin, basically 5 random skins, or one limited skin. And an elite hero, which is, I mean, usually fodder. <laughs> And if you could do three full completions, you'll get an elite light. And then after that, it jumps up to 240 masks, which you have to buy. So after the elite light, you can't even get any of these things unless you spend money. And if you do spend a lot of money, you can get the Rui Scepter, a nine star dummy and a 10 star dummy. I mean, <sighs> But, like, the most masks you can get for completing the Profit Summon event is 200. So you're looking at needing to buy 450 masks, and the biggest one only gives you 60 masks? I mean, holy cow. That's a lot of money <laughs> for one 10 star dummy. I just, <sighs> why can't they just give us a nine star dummy from now and every now and again, you know, it's just, this sucks, but whatever, some extra rewards, a little extra stuff here and there, I guess I'll take it. Um, yeah. So. I, I'm, I was really torn at first on this event. Um, yeah, I mean, you could get some extra stuff from it. But I feel like, you know, this still isn't the Easter event. The Easter event is going to be in April. And because it's going to be in the middle of April, I feel like they're either going to do one of their switch the weeks of the events and Profit Orb is only going to be three weeks from now. Or uh, Easter event's going to end up being a Heroic Scroll event now. And I'm wondering how much better than this event it's going to be. And I'm worried that if that they're just trying to get us to spend our orbs at this event when the Easter event's going to be way better. Um, 
Yeah. So I'm super torn on what to do. <sighs> but I'm also super bored. <laughs> Which I feel like they're also taking advantage of that. So um, I'm kind of thinking I might do at least one completion. Possibly two. I'm going to do one. I like the Garuda. That's the main thing. I like the Garuda. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like they're trying to take our orbs before the really big event in the hopes that more people will spend so that they can do the big event. But yeah, if I do one completion, I'll at least still get a six star dummy. So, and a Garuda copy. <laughs> So I guess we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for. Okay, yeah, this one's backwards. I'm still looking for Unimax copies, so I'm gonna pull in Fortress. Um, they do have uh, Delasium already in here, and uh, Carrie is in here now. Also, uh, I think actually Carrie even yeah so carrie's been added to the relic shop also so you know if you need to more copies of her or whatever she's super awesome may as well get her i that's probably where i'm going to end up getting my copies but for now i'm going to pull in fortress i'm going to try to get some more unimax copies and we're going to do 80 so five star five star five star <sighs> Come on, Unimax. Okay, off to a strong start as usual with nothing. All right. Three pulls, still nothing. All right. Fortress Gate usually doesn't like me. Oh my gosh, still nothing. Okay, let's just keep going, I guess. Still nothing. Not even one five star. This is great. Oh, yay. A flame strike. Fodder. More nothing. Wow. Last one. And that's 80 orbs. Nothing. Wow. So I got one five star in 80 orbs. Welcome to my luck. This is my luck. I'm not even surprised. Like, seriously <laughs> uh i wish that the drop rates were better in this game with how expensive and how hard it is to get the resources i really wish the drop rates were better because it almost never pays off for me i hoard and save and save and save and then i get nothing it really sucks all right so i've got 18 replacements so let's see if we can get a unimax here since we weren't lucky enough to just get them to drop Come on, Unimax. Unimax also has like really been like hiding from me. I've had a lot of trouble getting Unimax to drop from anything. I keep getting him on my super wheel and I can't get him to drop. <sighs> I'll keep you because you're better. Um, I'm gonna need some six star fodders. Uh, let's throw you in there. 10 more, come on, Unimax, Unimax, Unimax. Emily, Odeo, five more. Come on. All right, last one. Okay, so yeah, that's how my luck goes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get my Garuda copy at least. Get oh, okay, good. So it did reset. Well, that's good. So it did reset. It looks like you can get multiple of the six star dummies. That's what I wanted to know because it doesn't have a number and it didn't look like it would roll over. So I figured it was just going to complete and exit out. But so it does repeat. That's good. Um, I mean, I may or may not do another completion in Fortress. <laughs> a one. I got one hero for 80 orbs. Really? That's your drop rate? Here's 14 five stars. Yay! 
How many fortress did I get? Three, five, six. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right. Anyway, let me switch accounts and we'll do some more polls. All right, so now we're on Chrono's account. We're gonna be pulling in light and dark, hoping for some carries. Um, wow, what am I doing? Um, and we're gonna be doing um, 110 polls to get the box here. Uh, so light and dark. All right, carry, carry, carry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hopefully we'll get luckier than we did on my account because that just sucked. Come on, luck. Where are you at? Drop. Five star, five star, five star. Maybe I didn't chant enough. Five star, five star, five star, five star. <laughs> lucky, 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 lucky drop. Wow. All right. Did they decrease profit orb drops? <sighs> All right. We got 15 more pulls. Drop something, game one two dark five stars that are just generics <sighs> come on drop an awesome thing drop an awesome thing all right okay last one hey a light five stars so we have three <laughs> three five stars and 105 orbs Jeez, light and dark is supposed to have less odds than fortress oh well i guess that's just my luck all right we're gonna be looking for unimax again come on unimax he really likes to hide come out Unimax, Unimax, come on, <sighs> come on, four more, Unimax, Unimax, last one, man, he's hard to get, all right, next account, all right, so on this account, I have a good number of orbs saved up, so I'm actually a little less worried about spending some of them. Um, I think I'm going to do at least two completions on this one. And I'm going to do them in light and dark. And that should at least get me to the 100 clown masks. Um, not sure if I want to do three not sure I'm gonna do at least two though um, and obviously I'm gonna be looking for more carry copies I've got one of her built on this account but having multiple would be nice all right so we're gonna do 160 orbs so here we go this account is usually knock on wood much luckier than my other one Come on, five star. Carry. Super luck drop. Come on, show me some luck. Okay, well, there's two five stars. One dark, one light. Something. Come on. Two more five stars, that's four. On luck. Two more darks. I think that was it. Okay, so that was two completions. Let's go ahead and get this out and this. I want the dark. 
summon out my randoms. Lots of abyss. Lots of abyss. Let's see what skins we get just for funsies. Boop. All right. Whatever, get in there, go. Hey, <laughs> an Ada skin. Let's go ahead and throw those in there. <laughs> and the cool Cyber Valk skin. Nifty. Alright, so I think I'm going to try and exchange for more Delassium copies. Um, yeah. So, let's see if we can get lucky enough and find Delassium. Maybe one of these heroes... Oh, look at that. Gosh darn it, this account is so much luckier than my original account. I swear there is some sort of account-based luck. I swear there is. <laughs> like from day one of starting my original account, it has always been less lucky than everybody else's account. <laughs> and this one has always been more lucky. <sighs> Delasium. Let's get more Delasium copies. Hey, Gusta, you back? Margaret again. Balrog. <laughs> oh, come on, Glassium. Oh, my gosh. So much luckier. <laughs> Let's see. I've got a six star Delassium. So. It's two, four, six, eight. I need one more. One more Delassium. Let's put Margaret in there. Come on, Delassium. Just one more. Just one. Delasium. Hey, Dantelion. Delasium. I could like a bye. Last one. Delasium. Ah. Well, we got two. That was nuts. Wow. Okay. What's all this? Oh. All right. Okay. So that's all the polls for this event. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I don't know. Each event just kind of disappoints me a bit recently. Um, this game didn't used to be this expensive to play, but now everything, the price tag on it is huge. Like, it's just huge. And, you know, the rewards you get for completing events is, I mean, pretty meager. So it's kind of disappointing um, that you save and invest so many gems into getting these resources and then you get so little for it. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of disappointing. It's really disheartening, especially when, you know, you look at this and you think in terms of how many dollars you're looking at spending to get that many masks. I mean, that's insane. It's insane. And it's just incredibly disheartening to me when I look at it and think, oh, you have to spend like $600 if you want to get those cool things. That's just like, why would I do that for an idle game? An idle game is supposed to be something I can play casually and still have fun with it. So I'm kind of disappointed about that. Um, I'm happy that they put Garuda as the reward. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that they're doing this right before the Easter event though because it makes me really torn on what I'm supposed to be doing and it's really confusing and I totally feel like they're just trying to sap all our resources before the bigger events. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do for this event. 
I don't think I should go any further down the rabbit hole. I think that's good enough for now, and we'll do more for the Easter event. Um, but you guys, stay safe, wash your hands, stay aside, do all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya!